okay so we are back with physics paper 2 june 2018 we're on to number three so the first one says define the term electric field so an electric field is <clears throat> is the region in which a body experiences a force due to its charge the direction of an electric field at a point is the direction of the force caused by the field on a position charge placed at point. Then it says, draw the electric field formed between the parallel plates shown in figure 3. Now the electric fields in the center are going to be parallel. And you would have used a, a ruler for this, it's just that my hand is operating the camera. Too lazy to put up the stand. And now the ones on the outer ends will be repelling each other. So that's why you have a bulge. Like this. A lightning strike is an example of an electrostatic field, electrostatic hazard. State one other hazard of static charge. So another hazard of static charge is that um, sparks can cause explosions where there is dry powder in the air, such as in flour mills. That's one. Another one is where if you're driving a car and your hand rubbing on the wheel all the time constantly and the air is dry if you come out of the car to pump gas make sure your hand touch the metal of the car so that the sparks so that the electrons in your body the build up of electrons in the body could pass through the metal casing of the car otherwise if you t if you go and touch the pumps and you touch the gasoline and, you st and a spark come from your hand to the gasoline guess what you could cause a big explosion um, state one useful application of static charge um, they're using photocopiers for printing purposes so that's that for this page then we had um, the voltage time graph or sine wave and it says the graph in figure 4 shows the alternating voltage output from a generator and here we have it so it says Using the graph in figure 4, determine the value of the peak-to-peak -peak voltage. So I'm going to come from this peak. So from this peak to that peak. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 milliseconds. And the same value of the peak to peak voltage. Because if you come from here to down here, anyway, that's up for discussion. Anybody want to challenge me on this? That's fine. Anyway, moving on because I have more right than wrong. So, the period of the alternating voltage in seconds. So the period is the time taken for one full wave to oscillate. So, I'm going from crest to trough, to the node of a crest to the node of a trough. And it goes from 0 to 8 milliseconds and since it's milliseconds to get rid of the milli you know that milli is equal to 10 to the negative 3 so the period which is denoted as a t is equal to 8 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds we got rid of the milli and we just have seconds there then it says frequency of the alternating voltage from the supply frequency is equal to 1 divided by period so if I take the period that I have up here to find the frequency, it would be 1 divided by the frequency to give 125 per second, 125 hertz, because per second is equivalent to 1 hertz. 1 hertz. Right? So pretty much, um, yeah. So that's the answer. I hope this gives you some peace of mind, and I'm out.